demonstrate the procedure of police catheterization in a female okay so first thing in any clinical procedure that has to be done that is a proper hand washing using all the steps so i think all of you know the proper hand washing steps first of all you have to remove all the accessories like ring bracelet or band from your hands okay then if you are wearing any full sleeve shirt or any dress so you have to roll it out so expose up to elbow then under a running tap water first first under a running tap water first what you have to do wet your hand up to elbow joint so then apply some hand wash or soap then the first step will be rubbing of palmar surface is it clear first step of hand wash rubbing of palmar surface second step rubbing of back and this interlocking okay then the third step is is this thumb okay then the fourth step is this palmar crease actually and the last step is this wrist joint and the forearm is it clear so first this second then interlocking third then the fourth and there's the fifth and then the sixth this is the proper hand washing steps each step should be done for 20 seconds at least then under a running tap water that is elbow operated using your elbow open the tap then under the running tap water wash your hand properly okay then you your hand be should be like this during entering the procedure room so that it should not touch any objects during entry because your hand is now sterile then you have to put on a sterile gloves dry it using a sterile dripping any sheet dry your hand then you will put on a sterile gloves this is not sterile gloves in the ideal setting you will use sterile gloves yeah ask your colleague or nurse to assist you so first introduce your thumb okay then stretch it out and introduce the rest of the four fingers is it clear then exactly first introduce your thumb then stretch it out then introduce rest of the four fingers is it clear then the first procedure is reassure the patient this procedure will be painless and i am going to insert one tube through the urethral passage and it will not harm you it will be painless to reassure the patient okay the patient consent is taken now i will clean this area where i am going to insert to so clean the genitalia so take a swab and a solution antiseptic solution in our setting it may be povidone iodine solution so apply some solution and clean the genitalia in a round circular fashion from the center to the periphery then apply some draping sheet so draping sheet i am applying some draping sheet in ideal scenario there will be a fenestration so through this fenestration i will do the procedure okay so in here there is no fenestration in ideal scenario in the draping sheet there will be fenestration so suppose you have applied the draping sheet after and so antiseptic dressing and draping is complete then i will ask for the object one by one which is needed for the procedure this is police this is police two way balloon catheter you can see the two way there is one balloon this is police catheter police two way balloon catheter one way is for the passage of urine another way is for inflating the balloon that will be needed to 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 attach the catheter okay in the passage so this is to police two way balloon catheter and this is uro bag or urine collection bag so this is urinary passage i will collect connect this with this passage okay this is police catheter and this is uro bag okay then the next thing now all of this thing should be in a sterile way okay you should not keep this thing in a unsterile object for the sake of demonstration now i am keeping all these things in unsterile surface but during the actual procedure you should do all these things in a sterile way then take some lubricant gel okay so first remove this plunger and take some give me some lubricant gel take some lubricant gel okay i have taken some lubricant gel xylocaine gel or lignocaine gel is available in the ward so now push this lubricant gel into the passage in which you are going to insert the catheter so i have pushed the gel okay into the catheter next someone the assistant or the nurse or my colleague will be giving some amount of lubricant gel over my left dorsa then i will look i will lubricate the police catheter also 
because it is going to uh, enter inside the passage so i am lubricating this holy catheter then hold it into the tip okay then gently push the catheter inside okay so now i'm pushing the catheter inside okay so as the catheter enters into the bladder urine will be flushed as the catheter enters into the bladder you can see 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 the urine is coming out so the catheter is introduced into the bladder properly now the thing is you have to inflate the balloon take a 10 to 20 ml of syringe take some amount 10 to 20 or 30 ml of distilled water or ns okay so uh, just give me the distilled water i will take around 10 ml of distilled water Time's up. I would now request everyone to get back to their respective places and be seated. Now, I would now I request everyone to get now back to I their respective this, places and be seated. Now I will push this saline or water through this colorful passage. So I am pushing. See the. Already I have pushed the slide through this passage. Now the now the balloon is already inflated inside the bladder. Now we'll pull it out. See, it will it is stuck into the bladder neck. It is not coming out. So this is the procedure. Okay. So now the urine will be collected in this urine bag. So you have to attach this bag into the bed side. And what is the procedure of removing the catheter? Same things in the opposite way. First, you have to deflate the balloon. Otherwise, if you pull it out, there will be injury of urethra or bladder neck. It will cause hematuria, urethral injury. So first, deflate the balloon. Take a syringe. And I would again request everyone to please get back to their respective places and be seated. So now pull it out. The catheter is being removed. Okay. I think the procedure is clear. How it is introduced and how it is removed. Thank you.